Hi everybody, once again, Dr. Salim is here with you guys. Uh, so as you know, we started a series of review questions, especially for the SPI, Sonographic Principles and Instrumentation Examination from the ARVMS, Registry Exams. So today is the second session. Let's talk about the questions. Again, let me share the screen with you guys and be with me. Let me see, we did already 20 questions. So today we'll, we will have 20 more questions. Okay, here they are. So question number 21, let's uh, have a question. It says an ultrasound pulse, the area of the cycle above the baseline is called A, high density, high density particle area, compression, area of high pressure, D, all of the above. What do you think? Exactly, again, you're right, because all of the above, everything is above the denominator, above the baseline, and they are all the same thing. So everything, all these are the uh, parts of a cycle. So they are above the baseline, correct. Now let's do the next question. The next question is asking that, it says when five cycles are happening in one microsecond and a pulse, what is the frequency of this probe? So the answers are five kilohertz, five megahertz, five hertz, and all of the above. What do you think? That will give you a hint. Keep in mind, this unit of the time is very important for us, and it says a microsecond. So now, what do you think which will be the correct answer? Absolutely, you're right. It's a five megahertz because five seconds are happening in one micro because the microseconds will choose the the unit for the frequency, good job. And let's see the next question. The next question is, it says, if we have a sound wave with a wavelength of two millimeter, calculate the frequency of this transducer. Now, the options are two megahertz, 0 0.77 megahertz, 0 0.2 megahertz, and 7.7 .7 megahertz, 0 0.077 megahertz. What do you think, which one will be the correct answer? Good job, you're absolutely right. Because the formula is frequency is equal to the propagation speed of the, soft, of the sound in a soft tissue divided by the lambda or wavelength. So wavelength is below the denominator. So we know the propagation speed of the sound, normal, that is 1.54 millimeter in a microsecond. So that 1.54 millimeter divided by two. And I believe that will give you 0 0.77 megahertz. Absolutely correct answer. Now let's go to the next question. Okay, the next question is saying, if we have a sound wave with a wavelength of five millimeter, calculate the frequency for the transducer. Now, same question like we had it in question number 23. It's the same story. Frequency is equal to the formula is propagation speed of the sound divided by the lambda or wavelength. Same thing. Now, if we take 1.54 divided by 5, which is the wavelength or lambda, I believe these are the answers. What do you think which one will be the correct answer? 0.308, 3.08, 0.08. Three, 30.8 megahertz, would you think which one will be the correct answer? Exactly, you're right. 0 0.308 megahertz, number one, A is the correct answer, absolutely correct. So now let's go to the next question. So, oh, there was another option too. Okay, so this is question number 25. Let's see what it says. If we have a sound wave with a wavelength of three millimeter, calculate the frequency of this um, transducer. Now, same, again, the same formula, the same question, almost the same question, but with a little different uh, numbers. So one point, again, frequency is equal to propagation speed of the sound divided by the wavelength or lambda. So here we have a lambda, which is a three millimeter or wavelength. And then a propagation speed, we have to remember that, that is 1.54 millimeter in a microsecond. So 1.54 millimeter uh, divided by three. And I believe if we do this calculation, that will be 0 0.513, something like this. So we will keep it to this point, 0 0.51 megahertz. I believe so, you're absolutely correct. That's the correct answer. Okay, let's, 
take the next question. The next question is, it's a really tricky question. So it says, if we have a sound wave of two millisecond, what will be the frequency of this transducer? So what do you think? I will give you the options. 2 kilohertz, 0 0.5 kilohertz, 20 kilohertz, 2 megahertz, or 10 kilohertz. What do you think? You are absolutely right. Because the formula for the frequency, that's another additional formula for the frequency, is frequency is equal to 1 divided by t. t here is your 2 milliseconds. So 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. And then millisecond will give you the unit for the frequency. So the time, uh, the time unit will select the unit for the frequency, and that is kilohertz. So 0 0.5 kilohertz, absolutely correct. Let's see the next question. Okay, so it says, if we have a sound wave of five milliseconds, what will be the frequency of this transducer? So again, same formula. Frequency is equal to one divided by t, and t is here is five milliseconds. So what do you think? One divided by five, which one is the correct answer, or which one will be the correct answer? What do you think? You are absolutely right. That would be 0 0.2, because one divided by five will give you 0 0.2. And then the unit is, all of them are the uh, same units, so again, we will look to the unit of the time. It will be giving us kilohertz, and that will be uh, the unit for the frequency, correct. Now, next question. If we have a sound wave of 10 microseconds, what will be the frequency of this transducer? What do you think? OK, these are the options. 0 0.1 megahertz, 1.0 megahertz, 10 megahertz, 10 kilohertz, 10 hertz. What do you think? Carefully, same formula, just we mentioned earlier. T, uh, a frequency F is equal to one divided by T. So, same thing. If we take, look to that formula, that will be calculation will be one divided by 10. And one divided by 10 will give you 0 0.1. And then why megahertz? Because it's a microsecond. So the time unit will select the unit for the frequency. A is the correct answer. Good job. I know you select that too. Okay, next question. If we have pulse of 10 cycles happening in five, make, uh, five seconds, calculate the frequency for this transducer. Now, what do you think here? These are the answers. 50 hertz, 10 hertz, 5 hertz, 2 hertz, 15 hertz. What is your selection? What do you think which is the best answer? You are absolutely right. Because first of all, we have to do what? We have to do this calculation first because we're, we want to know in one second, but it says in five seconds. So 10 divided by five, first of all, we should know in one second because that's the definition for the frequency, that the number of cycles in one second, that is the frequency. So first we should know in one second. So 10 divided by five will give you two, correct? And then it's a second, so that's why it will be hertz. So that is the correct answer. D is the correct answer. Absolutely, you're right. All right, let's do the next question. Okay, it says, if we have a sound wave of two seconds, what will uh, be the frequency for this transducer? So again, these are the options. Two hertz, 0 point, uh, 0 0.02 hertz, 20 hertz, 0 0.5 hertz, and 10 hertz. What do you think? So you have two seconds. Same formula, correct? We're going to use frequency is equal to 1 divided by t. You are absolutely right, because 1 divided by 2 will give you 0 0.5. And that is the answer, d. And then, of course, because it's a second, and our unit for the frequency will be hertz. Absolutely correct answer. Let's see this one. So this question, let me take this question down to the next page, because uh, it will be close to the answers. and. These are the questions, and this is the question with answer. Now, if we have a sound wave with a wavelength of 0 0.8 millimeter, calculate the frequency of this transducer. I totally understand, because this is something a little bit, not a complicated, but 
It's a little um, challenge question. So again, if we are looking for the frequency of the transducer, remember earlier we just talked about this. The frequency formula is propagation speed of the sound divided by the wavelength. Now here the wavelength is 0 0.8 and the propagation speed of the sound we already know. It's 1.54 millimeter in a microsecond. You have to memorize that propagation speed of the sound in the soft tissue because that's important for us. Okay, so if we do that 1.54 divided by 0 0.8, I believe that's what I did. When I did the calculation, the answer was B, 1.9 megahertz. You are absolutely correct. I know you choose that answer too. Good job. Okay, let's do the next question. Okay, so the next question is a really interesting question. What is the relationship between frequency and wavelength or lambda, same thing. Now, if we know from the formula, what, first of all, let's see what is your um, selection. What do you think, which one is the correct answer? Is it direct relationship, indirect relationship? Is there no relationship? Frequency get double if the wavelength increase. Uh, all of the above are possible. What do you think, which one is the correct answer? Yeah, absolutely you are right because Remember, the formula was frequency is equal to propagation speed of the sound divided by the wavelength. So wavelength is below the denominator. So for sure, the relationship will be indirect relationship. They will have indirect relationship. Absolutely correct answer. Now let's see the next question. Okay, here it says, what is the relationship between the frequency and propagation speed of the sound? What do you think? Same formula, this is more easier question, I believe so, because the frequency is equal, formula is frequency is equal to propagation speed of the sound divided by the lambda. Now, because propagation speed is above the denominator, so anything above the denominator will have direct relationship to that side of uh, equality sign. So, operating frequency or frequency have direct relationship with the propagation speed. So. A is the correct answer. Absolutely. I know you choose that too. Absolutely. You're right. I'm right. You're right. Okay. Question number 34. Let's see what it says. Choose the best definition for attenuation from the following options. So we give you the options. What do you think? Which one is more suitable? Which one more fit for the definition of attenuation? Okay. So the answers are decrease in amplitude. Decrease in intensity, decrease of the power, all of the above, none of the above. What do you think? Absolutely right. So all of the above, because attenuation is gradually losing sound. When they are in a penetration, when they are in a transmission mood, sound is slowly, slowly, they are losing their amplitude, power, intensity. Uh, so they are, um, they are slowly, slowly just vanishing, finishing. So, all of the above is the correct answer. Absolutely, you're right too. Okay, let's do the next question. Okay, now, this question says, choose the correct category of sound for 18 herbs only. Now, what do you think? Is it audible sound? Is it infrasound? Is it ultrasound? Is it diagnostic medical sound? Or none of the above? What is your choice? What do you think? Which one is the correct answer? You are absolutely right. We have four categories of the sound. So I know you choose audible, you said, sorry, infrasound. You're absolutely right. Infrasound or subsonic sound are the same because we have four categories of the sound, right? From one to 20, that's infra or subsonic. And then from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, that is our audible sound. And then um, from 20 kilohertz, we go all the way to one megahertz, that is ultrasound, uh, which is we is using for the, um, for the treatment or um, for uh, those things. But uh, also the, the other one from one megahertz and above, that is the sound we are using for imaging, for picturing, for diagnostic purposes, and that is diagnostic medical ultrasound or sound. So, so B is the correct answer. You're absolutely right. Okay, let's see the next question. It says, choose the correct category of the sound for 17 kilohertz or 17,000 hertz. Same thing, what do you think? 
a subsonic sound, ultrasound, audible sound, diagnostic medical sound, or infrasound. What do you think? Just earlier I mentioned. Absolutely right. C is the correct answer. You're right. That is audible sound because it starts from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So that is the range for them. So 17 kilohertz is less than 20. So that is audible sound. Correct. Next. So the next question is choose the correct category for the sound uh, of sound for six times 10 at the power of six hertz. Now, let's make this question a little more easier. So if this is a category six times, we can say one million. So 10 at the power of six, I believe so that is like uh, 10 have, we have 10 have like five more uh, zeros or in total it's six zeros and that's a million. So that will be six million. So what do you think now? Is it a subsonic sound, ultrasound, diagnostic medical sound, or infrasound or audible sound? What is your choice? Which one you're gonna choose? Absolutely, you're right. It's a diagnostic medical sound because it starts after one megahertz. So this is actually the other form of writing is six megahertz or six million hertz. So when we say six million hertz, if you make it to the mega then we say six megahertz, not six million uh, megahertz. So either you use mega or you use hertz. So that is six megahertz, correct answer. Now let's look to the next question. Choose the correct category of the sound for six hertz, only six hertz. So what do you think? We already discussed these things. Is it audible sound, infrasound, subsonic sound, uh, ultrasound, or uh, B and C is correct? W which one is the correct answer? What do you think? Absolutely right. That is E is the correct because infrasound and subsonic sounds are the same name. So B and C is the correct answer. Absolutely. Because it is less than 20 hertz, right? So that's why it is infrasound. Okay. This question is stream fast. Carefully listen to the question. A low frequency transducer will attenuate quickly, soon, very fast, uh, compared to the high frequency transducer. Is this true or false? What do you think? Absolutely, you're right. It is false because low frequency will stay longer. Low frequency transducer will attenuate slowly gradually, but slowly, not fast, not quickly. High frequency will attenuate quickly. So this is opposite actually. So false, that is the correct option. B is the correct option. Last question, but not least. Okay, so this question says, choose the correct category of the sound for 18 times, 10 at the power of three hertz. So let me give you again a hint. Just a little bit, uh, something which can help you. 18 times 10 at the power of 3 is 1,000. So 10, 18 times 1,000. So what do you think which one would be the correct answer? Subsonic sound, audible sound, infrasound, diagnostic medical ultrasound, or just ultrasound? What do you think? From the categories earlier, I just told you guys. Absolutely, you're right again. I like it. You're smart. Good job. So it is actually the audible sound because 18 times 1,000 is 18,000 hertz. So, or 18 kilohertz, same thing. It's less than 20 kilohertz. So that is audible sound. B is the correct answer. Absolutely right. Thanks a lot. And just uh, wait for the upcoming session. This was the second session and we will keep going. And this will help you a lot because I will answer the question, you will answer and I will answer. And then I will try my best to explain a little bit to uh, clear the concept. And please, once again, don't forget to share the, the YouTube channel with your friends, colleagues, anybody, any healthcare providers who are in this medical field. So take care and um, just wait for upcoming uh, videos. Thanks a lot and have a nice day, take care.